hello, hello. One of the commonly asked questions I get all the time is how I do my 3D art. Um, and you can definitely use acrylic if you want, but I try to avoid using acrylic as much as possible just because of the smell of the monomer. So I'm going to show you there's this brand is the one that i purchased i'm sh i know there's like a whole bunch of other ones i'll list them below in my or um i have the link for my amazon storefront that where i got this one from oh my gosh i'm not making any sense anyway um but it comes with a bunch of different colors here are some of the other colors but this is a color i'm going to be using to show you how i did these donuts um i also use this for like flowers and literally any type of 3d art so let me kind of show you what it looks like first. Um, so reason number one why I use it is because of the smell. It's odorless. Reason number two is you, you, it's, let me show you. Where's my little, it's like, um, kind of like a putty and it doesn't harden until you cure it. So you have, oh, I also use it on these little, on the noses or the smells, but, um, you, have all the time in the world to work with it until you cure it is and then it hardens obviously but um i think that's like really that's a big thing for like beginners mainly i mean i'm not exact i'm self-taught but not exactly a beginner but i still prefer this method just just because now i'm just rambling but anyway so see it's like putty and you can mold it however you want. And so the way that I did the donuts was I just rolled it up into a ball. And then I'll also show you how I did, uh, how I do 3D flowers as well. But I'm going to do a big donut, just a random big donut. Um, oh, that's what I was trying to say. Like if you make, if you make a mistake, you can just start over. Like it's, it's no big deal. So I rolled it up into a little ball. And then I just stuck it on my nail like that. And then you're also going to want like some type of silicone molding thing. Um, this actually has some nail foil. I mean, yeah, some foil on there. Um, okay, anyway, you're going to want some silicone. And it helps if you have some rubbing alcohol. Basically, this just helps like the silicone not stick to your nail. And then you just boop just like that you already look you can already tell it's a donut but basically I just wanted to do like one big donut on this nail just, just random um one big donut and then like I said you just mold it until you're happy with it and then you can cure it whenever you're ready but I'm okay let's see do I want that hole showing in there I'm gonna leave it like that and then I don't know I was thinking about also putting like a little bite in it because look he could like take a bite you know right there but I don't know I, I I haven't decided yet it's gonna be like a game time decision okay so there you go we are gonna go with the the little bite in it so I kind of want it to be like where his mouth would be so I'm just gonna take just use like whatever tools you have and I'm just gonna kind of like make it look like a bite was taken out of it it looks like one little bite just like that i think i think that's the move here that's the move i'm gonna go with okay now i'm gonna cure it and then so see it's like sticky and tacky right now it's moldable and watch what happens after i cure it now that it's cured it's hard and like you can't mold it anymore and so from here, I'm going to go ahead and where is my, where's my little liner brush? I'm going to go ahead and add some frosting because what's a donut without any frosting? I'm going to add some frosting. Oh, that's super, super bright pink frosting. And then I'm going to also add some sprinkles on here. And then I'm going to quickly cure and get that out the way and then show you how I um do the flowers as well and just like that we got this beautiful 3d donut that it kind of looks like Homer just like took a bite of anyway let me show you real quick 
how I do my 3D flowers as well. And I've done other things, other 3D things, but this is just going to be a quick. So I take little, little pieces at a time or little balls at a time. So this way, I will say this way is a little more time consuming. Um, it's definitely a lot faster to just do flowers with acrylic but if you're a beginner and you're still working on the shape and placement and all that stuff then this is definitely the way to go and if you're like me who I mean I can do both but I prefer to do it this way because I simply just don't like the smell of monomer ah it's like sticking to me because my hands are sticky but okay last chunk I'm gonna use this random nail that I that I was practicing my ombre on okay let me show you so what I do is I just place them on here oh that's another thing you're gonna want to be careful about is they're not always going to stick so um, the other thing that I would recommend, this is just like, I guess this is just like a beginner friendly video, but another thing I do, it's okay if the size, the ball sizes are different, but another thing you could do is with like a piece of wax paper, I'm just going to use this for example, if you want to shape it on here first, cure, and then from here, put it onto the nail, you can definitely do that as well, but okay. Now for the fun part, like I said, you're going to want to put just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there, not a whole lot, and you don't always have to, but just in case. So I'm going to just kind of push down. You see that little nice petal formation? I'm just going to kind of push down like that, and look how easy. This part's the easy part. It's the part where you have to get all the little balls out that's not that easy but just like that and then you like I said you have all the time in the world to kind of just figure out like the placement and the petal formation and yeah it's you can play around with it do whatever you want kind of make it look more flowery I guess <laughs> But, um, yeah, so this is how I like to, this is what I prefer to do. Um, everything's listed on my Amazon storefront. And just like that, once you're done, oh, let me come closer. Just like that, once you're done, you're just going to stick her under the UV lamp. Um, I usually only do it for like 30 seconds, but to be safe, you might want to do a 60 second cure. Um this i can't remember i think it came with maybe like 12 colors or so maybe nine or 12 i don't know but um yeah once you're done with that then you can just put a little gem or whatever in the middle and she's gonna look flawless let me show you the after i'm just gonna show you how i do this part too since we're here um you're just gonna take some gel glue um i recommend using gel glue rather than top coat just because I think or in my opinion the rhinestones stick better and they're less likely to fall off but it's up to you you can use top coat instead um I don't have a preference of what brand gel glue I use because they're all pretty they're all pretty strong to be honest I have this one on my Amazon storefront um but okay let's take one of these babies and we're just gonna stick that there. We don't need you. It's not your time to shine yet. And stick that in the middle like so. And bada bing, oh, focus. Bada bing, bada boom, 3D flower, 3D donut. Here's my other little 3D donuts. It's literally a lot easy. But yeah, I hope this helps. I hope you find this as easy as I do. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. Okay, bye.